Hello everybody and welcome back to Court Farms. We're up bright and early to continue with our harvest which we started in the previous episode. We've got the little New Holland Combine on the job and it is actually full. It's waiting for us. The worker for that got up about half an hour before us and started work so we've actually got the better end of the deal here. But let's get the tractor started and we'll drive over to the field. Now we don't really have too much in this map. We are really beginning from the bottom and building upwards. Our money isn't great, our machinery isn't great, and really, overall, we don't have that much. We don't even have many fields. So this is the first step to actually being able to get properly on our feet on this farm. So once this field is actually harvested, we should have enough money to upgrade some machinery or maybe buy some more fields. Anything is gonna be good for us because if you like, this is the new hard map and the map maker actually did tell me that it was going to be a tough map and I was wondering how it could be a tough map and to be honest I still don't know what makes it hard but it is a tough map it really is I really don't know what it is I guess it's because we've started off with small machinery but we've done that on other maps before and managed to do quite well so it is a tough map so um, it's a challenge, but I am still enjoying it. We're definitely going to continue. I'm by no means going to finish this map because we do need one of our maps at least to be challenging. And this is the best one for it. But I'm not limiting myself to workers. We can use workers. I'm not going to make it quite as hard as I did with Iron Horse Farm. I really did make that pretty tough. Uh, so tough in fact that it was virtually impossible but this is certainly doable so yes it's going to be bailed and like a lot of you did point out this tractor probably is not powerful enough to power the baler although I still would like to give it a go because you know what it's like with, with the gradient of a field if it's like a, a really hilly field um, yes it will struggle but as we've noticed with the flat fields they can actually still perform quite well so I'll probably give it a go I mean it is a what is it a T5 yeah it is it's T5 so it's got some it's got some horsepower in it and hopefully it will have enough um, but that is for another day we're gonna get this field done today I'm not sure what it is but the harvester tends to get a bit confused when it gets to this end of the field that is the second time it's done that it, it does like to hesitate I'm not sure why in fact forget it we'll do it ourselves it's so much easier we'll do what we did before and only put it on a worker when we're going back to the yard so a combine is actually one of the first things that we should change because this is actually a very very small combine as you can see um, but also a tractor a, a bigger tractor is also a necessity for a farm this size so we've got two main things machinery wise to work towards we've also got to buy fields we can take out loans but we have already taken some out don't really want to be taking out too many um, so it's just this is like I said before the relaxing let's play this is going to be very laid back, very slow, which is probably not everyone's cup of tea, but it is, uh, believe me, a lot of people do actually like the slow Let's Plays. I've had comments before saying I like how relaxed this Let's Play is. Um, so this is the one. This is the one which is going to be slow with the base game machinery, building up gradually and slowly. We do have a few mods, but I'm not really planning on expanding them too much. Um, I think Sandy Bay is a very good map for the mods. We'll probably stick with that. Um, so yes, if you're into the base game machinery, you want to just watch them up for fun, this is the series for you. Now when we spin around at the bottom here, we'll head back up. Uh, it's looking like it is just less than 50%. I think it, we're not going to make it back up to the top. But that's okay, because we'll put it on a worker and we'll go and tip in the shed again. Now we are putting in the shed because what we're going to have to do is maximise the profit. So we've got to wait until there's a great demand on. 
can see where it tried to go down there. It was started off, the worker was started off going up and down the field and then for some reason when it got to this end it started to go across. No idea why, but it did do. Uh, so that was a bit of a, a problem which I'd sort out, but it, I think it was probably to do with the corner. It was a bit of a messy corner. But that's all sorted now. So I think we're all good. Field 4 and 2 and 20 are our other fields. We will have to do some work with them. But it's nice to see we're not actually bankrupt. We usually are. We're actually doing pretty well there. But that is only because we sold the other machinery. That's just what was left over. Yeah, another thing actually which is brought up quite a lot is the amount of New Hollands that I use. Yeah, I do. Um, I do use New Hollands. Uh, mainly because of the New Holland pack. It's got so many different ones in there that it's so nice to use them. But if you want to see more case and stuff, then fair enough. Uh, case is actually New Holland anyway, I think. so. Um, it's just the colour, I guess, and the, uh, the styling. But yeah, we'll do a bit more case if you want. That can be our next tractor. Anyway, I think we'll get this back onto a worker so we can get back on track. We can work out where it is. You see, it gets a bit confused. Go on, there you go. Back in our tractor. And we'll unload. So while it's doing that, um, we've got 30,000 litres of wheat in storage. That's actually quite good. I uh, didn't think we had quite that much yet. I think we're bringing in 15,000 litres at a time. So we've done two loads so far. That makes sense. The price isn't amazing. But like I say, we're going to wait for a great demand. So we should get a lot of bonuses when we get to that stage. But that'll be when the price is good. But yeah, let's go back to the shed. Got to do a bit more reversing. It's quite a long way to reverse if you if you want to get in there in one go. As it is with a lot of the yards in Farming Simulator, the English maps, uh, there, there tends to be very tight yards. Um, but it's it's nice. It's challenging, and in a lot of cases, it's realistic. Oh, we better put a beacon on for this short period on the road. I think someone did suggest doing potatoes as well. It's not a bad idea. Hopefully in our in our later stages of uh, working this map we will be able to do some potatoes and stuff. I want to do everything really. I think it's probably working out to be about one episode a week. Which is probably about right really. Yeah, there's a pressure washer here. I always have to look out for that. Should just be a case of going straight back there and then sort of work it in. Brilliant, so we're going to get back to the combine in good time this time. Last time we didn't, we had to leave it sitting there waiting, which is a bit unfortunate, but this time it's all good.
Right, so just keep stopping at the ends so that the straw out, otherwise you put it everywhere. Um, clearly the uh, worker can do a much straighter job than I can. Although the entrance here isn't exactly great to the, to the uh, row. Let's just level this off a bit. It's better. I think that's why the worker sometimes gets confused when it does stuff like that. But we are progressing, I think that is about half the field done. Taking into consideration that we've gone around the headland three times. We are progressing nicely. Right, well that's another load, just got to unload the combine. And I think what I might do in between each load is get the skid steer loader started up and we've got so many of those bales in that field, we, we might as well just take some to the sell point because it's so close. I mean it's literally about, I don't know, about, I don't know 20 metres I think probably away from that field, it's so close to it, we might as well just dump some in there. Yeah, it seems to fill it about 97% each time instead of 100. It must just be how the capacity of the combine works, I assume. But yeah, not a bad idea, I think, because we've got so many of them and we're definitely not going to use them all. No way, because there, there are a lot of them. Mind the pressure washer again. It's a very vulnerable spot there. Okay, let's tip that. We'll take it back to the field, but then we will come back and use the skid steer. We'll probably only be able to do one bear at a, at a time, uh, but you know, if it's extra money, I don't know how much they are each. We'll have to, to find out, but it's all going to help with the, with the small amount of money we've got. It's all going to help. Okay, so here it is. This is the cell point. So close, and we get to use the Satec control panel, of course. Always love using that. So yeah, really don't know what these are going to be worth. We would just skewer one and sell it. Obviously it's not a straw bale, it's a wrapped silage bale. So the price may be different. I think it will show us the individual price when we sell it, so we'd have to look at the price. Whoa! 
6,360 pounds? Right, well I think that's our money worries gone. That just seems too good to be true. That is just crazy. <laughs> that silage again for you. Yeah, you can see the combine. Well, that that is impressive. Somewhat of an unrealistic price though, I think. So we're going to get the same again. This is going to put us into uh, 50,000 and something. It's nice and refreshing to see. Look at that. That is good. I might just continue to do this off screen for a bit. We'll do one more on screen and then uh, I'll do a few more afterwards. Combine's getting fuller, we're going to have to head back over there actually. Well, there we go, I think that is probably enough for now. That is certainly a very welcoming cash injection. Um, so yes, we need to get back to the tractor. The uh, Combine is way back over here getting close to the end and it's doing a better job than I could do with the straightness of the uh, straw, the rows of the straw, but still not amazing actually, that isn't that impressive for a worker, they're usually perfectly straight. Must have got a, a poor worker today. We might even get a full tank this time, a full load. To just see. No, not quite. Well, I think this time I probably will wait. Because we're so close to the top here. Should be able to pick up 5% in that time. Oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> let's just leave it at that then. 99%. Okay. At least the combine is now empty, so it won't be waiting when we are tipping. Well, it's filling up. We need a good mound in there now. It's looking very promising. Um, so, yeah, maybe there is some new machinery on the horizon. It'd be good if there was. One thing I have considered doing is, you know, secretly in the background, getting an articulated lorry with with a grain trailer, pretending it's a haulage company who is going to come to the farm and sell the grain for us, like it takes it to the docks or whatever. Um, we don't actually own the lorry technically, but it won't cost anything either. But it's, it's there, that is a good way of selling the grain off in bulk loads without having to use this trailer every time, because that really would take a long time. Um, so yeah, I, I think that is quite a, good, quite a good thing to do. We seem to have a very confused person here. If you don't harvest the straw, you harvest cereal crop over here. Yes, it's taken a long time to do this, but we are very close to the end now. It's actually taken an entire day in farming simulator time. Uh, that is at times 15. But I think it's worth it. It's a small combine though. It does need to be replaced relatively soon, like I say, because it, uh, it is too small.
pretty much there now. He's got this tiny bits up here to do, and we're done. And the final bit. Yeah, I think we probably have to get the big windrow out and just rake all these together to make it easier when bailing. Because uh, we did, I accidentally did get the bigger windrow by accident, so we'll, this would be no work for it. It'll make it so much easier for us, and it will also make bailing easier and neater. But that is done. We'll just unload and then we'll take the combine back down to the header trailer, take it off and probably leave it down there for now but we'll take the tractor back of course put that in the shed. Okay, so let's fold it all up. and we will just park it here on the track. And the final time reversing into here. I feel like I've done that quite a bit today. Right, so that is a good day's work. Job well done, I think. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And uh, also, hopefully you are pleased with the progress which we are now starting to make. So thanks for watching, and please do join me next time for some more court farms. Bye for now.